There was great concern among Louisiana sugarcane farmers this past February as record cold temperatures brought snow and ice to their fields. But cane is a resilient crop, and experts believe it sustained no significant damage. There were a few old stubble fields that had to be plowed out, but really nothing more than normal. So we survived that in fine fashion. What's probably more concerning is the cool, wet weather in March and April. That weather has put the cane behind schedule. A dry spring never killed a cane crop, and it's not been a dry spring. And looking at some of the meteorological data, this is gonna be our second or third wettest April on record. So we've had enough rain. It's time for the rain to quit. One positive from the February freeze is that it should reduce both disease and insect pests. Normally when we have a, a, a good killing freeze like we had Mardi Gras week, uh, that'll keep the brown stripe disease down. That'll keep the brown rust disease down. Uh, that'll take out uh, West Indian cane flies. Gravois noted that even though the crop is short for this time of year, nighttime temperatures above 70 degrees and daytime temperatures above 85 degrees will quickly spur growth. Even though the crop is a little bit behind right now, uh, you know, if we start getting warm and dry uh, for the month of May, we can catch up a lot of that growth. Harvest conditions were relatively dry for the 2020 crop, which will help with this year's crop. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.